Okay, so I think that is that is fixed. Um, I have one more task to do on this flight, and that is test my pulse ox. And this comes with a story. So, funny, just go. Somebody's on emergency. So the higher that you climb, the less oxygen there is. And uh, the less oxygen there is, the more your brain gets impaired. Um, in fact, th there's regulations, you know, that you're, if you're over 12,500, um, there's, there's rules about when and how much oxygen to use uh, that pilots are required to use. So it's a real, it's a real deal. And I carry a uh, spare oxygen bottle that I'll, I'll put on uh, whenever I'm on a flight longer than an hour or I go up high, you know. Um, and so I thought it would be a smart idea to get a uh, fingertip pulse ox and just test it in flight. Uh, it's, it's lightweight, they were cheap. I think this one was 20 bucks. But once I got this pulse ox uh, and, and I uh, tried to start using it in flight, I find that it's given me uh, readings that seem like they're too low. Um, so, for example, the last time I did this, I took out of uh, Destin, and I think we leveled off at 9.5 uh, or 11.5, and I immediately put this on, so we were probably flying 10, 15 minutes, and this thing is telling me that my, my uh, blood oxygen, was I saying pulse ox? I meant blood ox. Well, I'm not a medical person. And so... It told me I was at 84%, which my, my good nursing friends are telling me that that's not possible. <laughs> that's too low. Uh, apparently, if somebody comes into the ER with 84, they, they consider them like unable to make decisions <laughs> for themselves. So I think it's given me the wrong reading. So I bought a second one, like a chump, and uh, it did the exact same thing. So, I don't know what to do. I've been talking to my buddy Mark, and he apparently has uh, ties to the healthcare industry, and he suggested that I, I try it again, uh, but I keep it out of the sunlight, and I try a different finger. So, I'm going to try that now, and we're going to see what my uh, blood oxygen level is. It's, you know, I'm sitting here modifying my airplane in flight, so it's probably not high. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, uh, the story I was going to say earlier, there's a, there's a paradigm in software development that uh, no, under, no other industry builds, uh, let's see. Okay, what's the paradigm? Software development is like building half of an airplane and finishing it in flight. And uh, that's apparently what I'm doing today. So I am, my profession is in software development. <laughs> so it should come as no surprise. Okay, so we're ready for the test. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my left hand and keep it over here in the shade and see, uh, and see what we get. Uh, I'll use my middle finger, finger thing. Okay, we're in the shade, turn it on. Ninety-two. Okay. Well, I mean, that seems reasonable. What's what's the middle value? P R B P O. Oh, uh, my heart rate. Okay. S P O two and B P M. All right, ninety-two. I mean, that seems a lot more reasonable than eighty-four. I'm gonna try my other hand and see what it gets me. Also in the shade, I can get underneath my instrument panel here. United 444, United 444, contact the London Center 12502. Okay. It's, well, it's showing 91 for my uh, right arm. But well, that seems reasonable. I don't know. actually didn't bring my oxygen with me on this trip.
Um, I, I anticipated being down low for the whole, for the whole trip, so. Didn't feel like I needed it. I don't know if low 90s is uh, is the trigger for oxygen, or I wonder what the yeah, what the real percentage should be. 